Many homes built before 1957 may still have outlets with only two prongs. Any outlet that you see like this is called a polarized outlet. Polarized plugs and outlets are used to help ensure the complete circle of electricity in a circuit, keeping the hot wired pin on the hot wired side of the outlet, and the same for the neutral side and pin. One way that you can verify that your plug or outlet is polarized is if you look a little closer. One of the prongs is a little wider than the other one. This is for a reason. It's to make sure that you are putting the plug in the correct holes to efficiently power whatever appliance that you are using. It is also to make sure you and your home stay safe. Many times newer appliances come with three prongs and homeowners would purchase an adapter that converts the two prong outlets into a three prong outlet. Three prong outlets include a hot, ground, and neutral. We actually have one of those adapters right here. If you've noticed, there's a little ring at the bottom. This is the grounding ring to help ground your adapter. In order to use this correctly, you would need to screw in the adapter to the outlet plate like this. Here's a fun fact about polarization. Many of the newer two prong power cords are built to keep you safe. For example, this extension cord has these little notches on the top and bottom of the power cord. This is to prevent someone from trying to put a three prong plug in with the ground still exposed. This physically makes it impossible. You'll also notice extension cords may carry a warning tag telling you not to plug into two prong connections. This means you shouldn't plug a three prong cord into a two prong outlet or extension cord. You can still plug a two prong plug into a three prong extension cord or outlet without any issues. Let's take a closer look at what we mean. This one has notches on the outer edges to prevent a user from trying to only stick one prong in the adapter. There's even a notch at the bottom to prevent anyone from inserting a three prong plug. Without this adapter, it is not recommended that you attempt to plug a three prong plug in this outlet. This will be the case even if you modify the plug by clipping the ground. Please don't do this. All these things are made in a way to protect you by showing you it's not compatible. We're not sure why people may want to do these things, but it seriously happens. These safeguards are put into place to ensure that your connections have the correct polarization and completes the full circle of electricity in a circuit. You may be wondering if non-polarized plugs still exist, and they do. If you have a two prong plug and it has two equally sized pins, then it is not polarized. You may have noticed phone charger boxes have equally sized prongs. They don't need to be polarized because they don't provide a lot of power at once. The main point that we want to drive home is at the end of the day, we want you to be safe and a general rule to go by is if it doesn't fit, then it doesn't work together. I hope with this video, you were able to get a better understanding of polarization and polarized plugs and outlets. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel for more power tips.